Hey guys, thanks for joining me again. So in this video, I'm going to tell you what is the round scan and the usefulness of the round scan. So before we get to the computation, let's just talk about what does the round scan tell us about two solutions of a second order differential equation. So say you have a second order a homogeneous differential equation, say y double prime plus p of t y prime plus q of t y equals to zero. So we have a second order constant coefficient homogeneous differential equation. Now what does the Ronsky tell us about the two solutions we will obtain? So say you have two solutions, y1 and y2, then if the Ronsky of the two solutions y1 and y2 is non-zero, then we know that y1 and y2, they form a fundamental set of solutions. So what that really means is that you can have all the possible solution out there with the linear combination of y1 and y2. So very powerful statement. Second, if that is the case, then we know that the general solution y is going to be the linear combination c1, y1, plus c2, y2. Then this would be the general solution. And also because of uh, the consequence number two, we can also say that these solutions y1 and y2, they're linearly independent. So something uh, that uh, you should be familiar with when is linearly independent, meaning the two solutions are not multiple of each other. That's what it means to be linearly independent, okay? Uh, so let's let's talk about what is the definition of Ronskian. Well, the the Ronskian is defined as follows. So the Ronskian of y1 and y2 is the determinant. So you have y1, y1 prime, and second column we have y2, y2 prime. So it's this determinant. That is the definition of the Ronskian. And later on, you will see that from Abel's theorem, we would redefine Ronskian, which is also defined to be C times E to the integral of negative P of T dt. So this is another way we can also define Ronskian, but this is by Abel's theorem. Okay. So having said that, let's just use this definition right here to find the Ronskian of the following differential equation. So say you're given the differential equation y double prime minus 2y prime minus 3y equals to 0. So here we have a homogeneous constant coefficient and we want to know if the solutions y1, y2 will form a fundamental set of solutions. So let's go ahead and find its solution. So we are going to go ahead and write down its characteristic polynomial, which would be r squared minus 2r minus 3 equals to 0. And this can be factored into r minus 3 and r plus 1. So we have r is equal to 3 and negative 1. All right, so we have two real roots. So that means our solution y1 is going to be e to the 3t and y2 is going to be e to the negative t. And we know the general solution will be the linear combination of this. But we want to check if the Ronskian is non-zero for this pair. So let's go ahead and do that. So the Ronskian of y1 and y2 is equal to, so we're going to set up this determinant uh, y1 that's e to the 3t, then it's derivative 3 e to the 3t. In the second column, we put the second function, which is e to the negative t. Then we have its derivative negative e to the negative t. Now let's go ahead and multiply them. So we have um, e to the 3t 
times negative e to the negative t and then minus 3e to the 3t times e to the negative t. So pretty much that's how you multiply these um, entries of this determinant. So now if I just go ahead and simplify this, I have uh, negative e to the 2t and then here we have minus 3e to the 2t and this is equal to negative 4 e to the 2t and you see how this is not zero so that's great so we can say that hence we can say that y1 and y2 form a fundamental set of solutions and we can also say they are linearly independent and we can also claim that the general solution y is c1 e to the y1 plus c2 e to the negative t that would be our general solution so hopefully this makes sense um, so that's it for today I will see you next time.